Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about PathXt, or more specifically, how Windows does executable lookup. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so we're on Windows today. Well, sort of. This is, you know, my VM in the background. But um, And what I wanted to demonstrate today is this special environment variable called PathXt. Now, this is specific to Windows. If we look at PathXt here. Uh, you'll see some things in it, and it might be self-explanatory, or you might have guessed what this is for already. Uh, but this is the list of the executable types on uh, Windows. And you'll see that, you know, I've installed Ruby, I've installed Python, I have a JavaScript interpreter, and so there are other things that are listed in this list here that will be automatically executable. Now, when I talk about automatically executable, uh, when I run commands on command prompt or even through set processes, et cetera, uh, there's some special normalization that happens based on this environment variable here. So for instance, if I type babby, you'll see that it starts a program, um, and this is actually babby.exe. So if I were to run babby.exe, it's gonna work the same way. And it actually finds that through, um, through path lookup. So you can see here, this is where that executable lives. Oh, I should upgrade from end of life to Python version here. Um, but it knows to look this up first based on the path environment variable, path. And then inside each of these directories, it's going to look for the name Babby or the name Babby with these pathx on here. Actually, I think specifically with pathx because I don't think you can have extensionless executables on Windows. Um, and Windows uses semicolon as the path separator, whereas on POSIX likes, you'll see a colon here. Now, what this tends to mean is that some things will look up in ways that you'd be a little bit surprised on other platforms. So for instance, uh, inside workspace here, I have workspace t.py. I have this t.py file, which has hello world inside of it. Uh, and Windows has this other quirk with path, which is that the working directory is by default on the path. So just because I am inside this directory and I have a file called t.py, if I run t on my command line here, it's going to run that Python file. It's gonna look this up. There are a special register, a set of registrations in, in the registry for uh, what these file extensions associate with. And so it's gonna say, oh, this associates with Python. I'm gonna run this using Python. And so you get this. Uh, you can disable some of these. So for instance, if I set pathx exe and without all the other ones here. Uh, now if I try and run t, you'll see that uh, it doesn't do this automatic lookup. It doesn't know that t.py is there. Of course, if I run t.py explicitly, it's going to continue to work. Uh, and so that's how you can control this. And so this is both the precedence and how it looks it up. So I'm gonna try each, uh, each element in path and each extension in pathx, and finally the working directory in the same set of pathx things is there as well. Um, this is a little bit weird, and actually I was reminded about this video because Python 3.12 is finally fixing the lookup in shutil.witch for pathext. Uh, I, <laughs> I myself had special code for this for the longest time in pre-commit, and I may be able to finally get rid of it now that Python handles this properly. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.